Hey guys, <clears throat> whoa, uh, welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. So, um, I remember that I've collected, that I collected a couple creatures in, like, the last part or so. So I have a Niffler and I have two unicorns, which I fully intend on breeding, but I don't know which Vivarium would be best for these. I might look it up. I'm kind of leaning towards my first one just because then I have like a main animal for each vivarium that I fully intend on like breeding a bunch of. Um, best vivarium for Niffler. So, okay, the swamp says moon calf, thestral unicorn, and the giant purple toad. Grass is the deer call, Fwooper, Puffskeen, and Niffler. Okay. Coastal is deer call. Oh, it's like. Oh, some of the boot beasts don't like each other. Hold on, this is actually kind of cool. Um, so, I just saw this like Reddit post when I clicked on it. Um, asking, which Bavarium do you like to put each beast in? So based on studying some of the beasts, I can confirm that it is this, in this configuration, all beasts feel both happy, favorite Bavarium type indicated by them sitting, they will only sit in their favorite habitat and relax. They will only sleep in vivariums with no rival species. So the forest needs puffs. Am I missing one? I don't have a forest vivarium. I have a swamp, I have coastal, and I have grasslands. But unicorns don't like thestrals. I can get a phoenix? Did I already know this? Can I get a phoenix? Where do I find a phoenix? <laughs> the hippogriff and the niffler just like dislike each other, yeah. So I mean at least I've got my th Thestral and my purple toad in the correct vivarium. But I need to move my... I don't have a Thestral though. Or not a th I do have Thestrals, I have quite a few of them. I don't have the forest. Unicorns, Thestrals, Mooncalves, and Toads are definitely Swamp. Hippogriffs definitely belong in the beach. Um, put my Toads in the beach and all three of them went right to sleep. I'm so confused! <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, I stand corrected. I have the forest, which apparently is this one. I don't have the grassland because you get a phoenix. You get a fe you have to uh, complete like a phoenix quest to get the grass. Oh, I get a phoenix! Oh, that's really exciting. Okay. <clears throat> so. Looking at this, my Thestrals are good where they are. The Purple Toads are good where they are. I need to move my Jobbernal. Okay, and the Niffler goes, okay. 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 Let's see. So, I, Chloe. That means that I, oh, I only have limited space, so I can only have so many Thestrals and Unicorns. <clears throat> Hi. They're standing in each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
go. I have no idea what I'm gonna name them either. I need a baby unicorn. I need a baby unicorn. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Baby unicorn. Okay, so I need to go grab the jobber knoll. I don't know if I actually need my bag selected if I'm managing them in here. Then I'll release the Niffler. I'll look after you. <laughs> I wish this was a, a male. Um, because I'm <laughs> naming it. Oh, it's too long. Well, Perry for Perry the Platypus. <clears throat> Maybe if I get another one, I can name it Platypus. <laughs> Come here. Hello. I'm trying to brush you. The music is so pretty in the vivarium, so. It's really cute. Probably my favorite creature in here. No offense to the other two, but. Thanks, Perry. <laughs> okay. And I should have a baby hippogriff up here. Which I'm really excited for. <gasps> Look at it! Oh, it's so weird looking! Oh my goodness, you're so weird looking! The crazy feathers on the top of its head! It's- it's a boy! Look at the feathers on top of his head! Oh, I love him though! Here you go! I got everybody over here. I love that they all actually like, gather around you. Are you hungry? Over here laying down. I guess that means they're comfortable. Here you go. I have another one I need to put in here. And I've already taken care of him. Oh, you're following me? I love that though. There you go. Buckbeak! Have I? Oh, we've got the zoomies. <laughs> we've got the zoomies. Oh, you want to be brushed? There you go. And this one's content to just sleep over here. Sorry to keep disturbing you. I didn't collect one of them. Come on, you. And then, yeah, the Jabberwocky's already been maintained. Oh, I love them though. The Vivariums are probably like one of my favorite things about this. Because this wasn't even something I expected to be able to do in this game. Oh, I'm so excited. They make me so happy. Okay. <laughs> um. I have some gear that I need identified. None of it's worth anything. I have a school mission, so I'm going to put my school uniform back on. I did get a new school. I thought I did. I might not have. Now that I think about it, it was the capricious one. No. I prefer pants, thanks. <laughs> like, I don't really have anything against the skirts, but like, at the same time, she looks so old wearing the skirts. 
And she gets boots if she wears pants. That's what I wanted. Give me my stripes. Oh yeah, I'm snazzy. Hello. I wonder what else this can like. I can. Can I have other hip? If I have other hippogriffs in my inventory, can I change my hippogriff? I. Nothing against high wing. I actually need to see. If I can ride around on the one I've named Buckbeak, that'd make me so happy. Hello. Buckbeak! That's not what I wanted. <clears throat> Everything is alright now. I just wanna see if that's if that's what happens. No. Aww. I was really hoping I'd ride Buckbeak. There you go, buddy. I wish I could, like, full on pet them. Instead of just brushing them. I would love to actually pet the hippogriff. Okay. Um. So, we need to go meet in Professor Fig's office. I got a side quest. I want to go figure, like, I missed my side quests. <laughs> so we'll just go see what the Hufflepuff student wants. But then we need to go speak with Fig. Something about a polyjuice potion. And I think we're going to be taking a polyjuice potion to, like, try and pass as Professor Black. Like, as Headmaster Black. Which I'm r actually kind of nervous for. Because I don't like getting in trouble. <laughs> um, but I mean, okay. I still don't know what the little speech bubbles are. Now what am I supposed to do? Hello. Pardon me. Is everything alright? No. No, it's not. We only had two bells to go. But she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Ugh. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. <laughs> okay. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms. Or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. Okay. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. <laughs> That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugene, okay. and that's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. Oh, word. that's funny. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. Oh. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Okay, I'll see perhaps what I can I do. Help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower, just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. <laughs> okay. Now I'll go up to... Oh, it's right outside of... There's a little side quest right outside of Fig's office. Hmm. Your 
why she fussed so much. It was only one page in a book. I never fold a quarter in a book. <gasps> Same. You can't do that. That's not good. Oh, it's taking me to the Adelaide <laughs> Adelaide quest. This is not what I'm trying to do. It's like I thought I'd been right outside of it. Outside of his office. I had. Here you go. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder right, if getting a quick drink. rummage round Weasley's what office might yield anything in? <laughs> rummage around Weasley's office? No, um, I got... Where do I need to go for fig? I got these, um... Freeze-dried marshmallows. And so, I've been drinking a lot of hot chocolate lately. Because they go really well in hot chocolate. They're flavored. So, like, the ones I have this morning are Oreo. Um, but I have s'mores ones, and then I got fruity pebble flavored ones just to like snack on. Um, cause I don't think they'd taste as well in the hot chocolate. <laughs> Maybe with white hot chocolate, but I don't have any white hot chocolate. Anyways, Professor Fig, I haven't seen a thing in forever! Has something changed? Lovegog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. Mm. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Demi, guys! Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. I don't know if it's great Does that a, a professor... require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? I don't know Black? if it's great that we have One a professor that's encouraging this. may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall... Oh, we're doing it now. <laughs> we're doing it now. Okay. <laughs> He's just standing there like, Ooh, curious. Oh... So this is what it feels like to be a man. Oh, incredible! I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty. I love that we're a little higher mind. now because he's taller. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. How long She's does taken this last? the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. 
I shall tell him we're to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again I in the I don't like chamber. this. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. I don't like this. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. This makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't have any of these unlocked? Oh, my... F no, they're un unavailable. Okay, I was gonna say... <laughs> what? There's no way I've missed an entire wing of... Whatever. Oh, there's a student down here. How weird is it? It's not. It is! It is! Hi, what are you doing? We're just zoning out. It's like there's... Oh, there's another student there. He was not there a moment ago. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Out of my way, gentlemen. From Professor, fellow a moment of your men. time, please. Uh oh no. Professor, I was hoping to oh, catch no. you. Oh no. I um places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion and I well, I I did. I did. Yes. <laughs> well, spit this it out, shall so I have all day? Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Oh. I will decide what's best. <laughs> I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. Freely. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office oh. when it's convenient. <laughs> uh, <coughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I love I do. that. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now... To determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> if you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Oh, there he is again. Watch where you're going, Mr. Sallow. Okay. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Super fast. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? <laughs> She's having way too much fun with this. Headmaster, here, what could he want? Ominous! Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student. What are you doing? The hours away. What are you I doing? I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses. Was what are you the doing? Books. It's ominous. Uh, yes. Mixed with uh, Bubo Tuba pus <laughs> makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. This is amazing, <laughs> though. I'm feeling all right, sir. You don't seem <laughs> I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, she's I having way to too much fun with this. This is great. I hate it, but love it at the same time. I just know this is going to I mean, backfire. Out of my way, children. Greetings. I mean, out Professor, of my way. A word? <gasps> yes. Professor Black. Again, it is Can not. Can I tell her yes? Consider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But I agree. Th the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor. More than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... Oh, quite impossible I sometimes. wanted to tell her we could start Sir, Quidditch again. I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. <laughs> Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? <laughs> Very well, I will. And with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm. I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. 
I really wanted to tell her we can most definitely have. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Oh, Pfft. harsh. Where am I going? Great Hall. Where's the Great Hall? <laughs> Where's the Great Hall? Oh, so I gotta turn back around. Going this way. Why is it wanting me to? What have I done now? It's got my D-pad. I think that's what it's called. Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. What are you doing? This would be like your chance to. Like, not be a jerk. <gasps> Twins! Am I headed in the right direction? I rely way too heavily on my guide. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. What? Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor. This is an Broom. interesting surprise. Broom. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are She's approaching. loving this Charms, way too much. Sir. Non verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, <laughs> you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. It's noticeable! Oh, they just glitched through the door. Has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. No, no! I need to speak to you. No. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, Are the suits of armor to fighting? Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Don't miss him. <laughs> ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, oh. supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists. I don't really sneak into the forest, what? I just run into it. <clears throat> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I. Well, I. Um, thank you. But I am happy to look into. Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> I'm tipping everybody off. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. You do not need to. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Oh, no. There's... Oh, no. There's a scroll in here. Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Where's your ear? Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Oh, no. You dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scroop begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it.
It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh oh. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. That was my fear. Oh no. Oh no. That's what I was Made afraid it just of. in time. It's wearing off. Not the burping. Vic was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Where? <clears throat> Where? I loved that and again, I hated it at the same time. Where am I going? What? Gargoyle. Oh, there it is. Interesting. Yeah, she was having way too much fun with that, though. Um... Not that I blame her. <laughs> okay. Rebellion. Oh, hello. Goblet of Fire casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Tri Wizard Tournament. Since the contest's establishment in the late thirteenth in the late thirteenth century. Should I put a disillusionment charm on? This is a very windy hallway. <gasps> Demi guys. No, it's not a demi guys. It's a lock. Don't let me forget about the demi guys in Fig's office. I can't imagine Black liking to go up all these stairs. Are these all previous headmasters sleeping? That's where I need to speak the password. Oh, there's a thing. Tujo Pure. Rebellion. The staircase that leads to the headmaster's office is guarded by an enchanted gargoyle that will let only those who know the password enter. Though anyone choosing to visit the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. <laughs> They're very tight stairs. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. I'm sure they do. Uh, this enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as the means by which students would be placed into one of the four schoolhouses. Skilled at legitimacy, the sorting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. You won't give me away, Willie. I hope not. There's a lot of portraits in here, and I'm very lucky that they're all currently sleeping. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. 
What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I wasn't a wizarding child, though. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Apothecary receipt, cure for boils, one vial. Receipt, hair tonic, mustache, wax, bundamun, pomade, comb, pearl handle, back scratcher, gold handle, doxicide, paid in very small part, remainder to be built to ministry. Why is the remainder to be- oh, this is where I need to go. I don't want to go in there just yet. Why is the blue? Why is it blue? Can't go in. That must be the pedestal. Looks like a tomb. Ooh, I don't like how that. Oh, I'm screwed if he comes back. I also have a lot of stuff in my inventory that I did not sell before this. That I like mentally said to myself when I started the part that I will need to Where do so. I? Whoa, Professor Fitzgerald. Can you hear me? Whoa. I am here. In this place, you may call me Eve. I don't understand where they get the V from the AMH. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. This is awesome. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Find you and play and hide and seek? You will need. Is a in this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. I'm looking. Am I looking for the Deathly Hallows? Make your way through town without being seen. Whoa. This is very Arkham Asylum Scarecrow. This is awesome. This is awesome. I can't go any faster. There we go. I can't go inside anything either. I would play an entire game styled this way. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. What? This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. Use talent points. Thanks, game. Oh, here. Death. There's no way he I wouldn't have been seen there.
I think this is about the Deathly Hallows. So she said it was a... A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Ooh. Death's a dark mongrel. But she, Neve said it was a tale well known to like wizarding chi children, which I'm sure the Deathly Hallows for now. Something that's been I need shared. To get out of here. Where a cloak. Can be? Cloak's all curled up on my butt. <laughs> Cross this road as fast as I can. I don't want to know what happens if I get spotted. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Are you going to move away? This is awesome. There's nothing in. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Uh -huh. That will do. That doorway looks like oh, I wasn't ready for that though. No way but forward, I suppose. <laughs> Did not see them. Do I need into that room? Now's my chance. Go, 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 go. The environment is just amazing. I don't like that you just took your disillusionment off. <gasps> Invisibility cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Yeah, we're collecting the Deathly Hallows. Which, by the way, is probably my favorite part of that movie. Like, the way that the Deathly Hallows story is told. Like, the look of it is awesome. So do I not need to sneak? Like, so I don't think I can run into them though. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Can the mongrels sniff me out though? This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Ooh. But have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh, what Do are the other the things you see before you? This Do is the elder one. It's extraordinary power. I don't know if it's a good thing for me to have this. This is not where I was expecting this to go by giving me the deathly house. What's the third one? There's the cloak, there's the wand, but now I'm really struggling to remember what the third thing is. Oh. I've never felt such power. Oh, 
Oh, I only have a set amount of spells. Ah, this is way more than what was supposed to come down, I think. <coughs> Rebellion. I don't want to miss anything. I don't know if it would show me if I were to run past something. Aren't these like, um, oh, what are they called? You know, Voldemort's, woo, ow, Voldemort's people. There was one behind me. Where'd the other one go? There you are. Oh, my spells recharge so fast. Well, like that's how like um Voldemort's people would show up. Now I'm forgetting what they're called. Okay, so these are basically enemy gates. There's ancient magic everywhere. I'm gonna make sure I'm using that. They're gonna be generous with it. Please tell me that wasn't just wasted on someone that was already. Magic everywhere. Ow. Dang, again? I did interrupt a charging mongrel with the pulso, though. Oh, my magic went away. All the ancient magic thingies disappeared. Rebellion. I don't think there's supposed to be like any like secret collectible stuff in here. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to relate back to this. Like, back to Deathly Hallows. I can't say that I'm necessarily surprised because, you know, it's a lot of magic, a lot of power and stuff, but like. Oh, I got a troll. Ow! Well, at least my Wigan Weld still works in here. I was not paying attention there. There's another troll! 
That did nothing. That did nothing. That's not what I wanted. Finish this battle in 13 minutes. This is going to be a long one. Is the troll done? Was the troll taken care of? Oh, I did it in under 13 minutes. I did that pretty quick then. Oh, we got another. Another. Two trolls. Woo! Nope, didn't avoid that one like I had tried. Did not dodge the wolf. I'm not doing the greatest. I'm not doing that hot. that I had my dodge like it's so nice like I just kept forgetting I had it Did not avoid that very well. Trying to get the magic. Woo! Something behind me. Ow! Last thing, I am really struggling to remember what the last brother wanted. The hat? It's not the hat. It's not the sorting hat. Simple stone. Oh, that's right, the sorcerer's stone. Oh, she died. Nothing is what it seems. They show her body, but I somehow get the feeling it's not her. You found me. 
But you cannot undo what has been done. Oh. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Okay. I didn't realize the stone could bring people back. Or maybe I did. Again, it's been so long since I've actually read the books. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Oh? Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay. Pensive. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Nia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. In. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of it. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. I don't follow. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Though that was hands down my favorite um, trial so far. That was so cool. I would play an entire game done in that style. I did not mean to shoot. That was awesome. That was really cool. This is the most Wigan Weld I've used in a while. Oh, the last- Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Oh, I forgot I have it one is. more. I thought I this have. was my last but one. You are so- Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Please meet you. I know. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. It was disturbing, because she was like, yeah, that's it, that's the good stuff. I found it disturbing, but how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing, although I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor. I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a She's source of She's growing a backbone. Power. She's he like to use that power against not letting them completely walk no all over her. Waste. I see. Nonetheless, 
The knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. I've already gone through three. Why? Wh what makes it you hesitate? We, we should no go through four. To wait, frustrating as it is. Ugh. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power. She was, and she pulled emotions as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted. In Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire. <laughs> Why is he walking like that? Oh, I'm the hollowed hero. Yeah. That was, this was good. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good side mission. Okay. Um. I was gonna say I might try and go do a couple more. I need to go sell my stuff. So it might just be that we go to Hogsmeade, sell our things. Maybe go back to the remove requirement to love on my my bestish some more and then i think that might be it for the part <gasps> i need to go to fig's office he had i shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend i apologize i hope we can finish what we started with the triptych please meet me at the southern coast we can search for the final canvas piece i appreciate your apology <laughs> professor weasley's thing did not read out <laughs> That was very nice of you, Seb. Thank you. I think it's because I ran into him. <laughs> Which my latest one? I don't know which one's the latest. Oh, this one. Deke tells me he has shared with you his experience with the phoenix. Please check in with him when you get the- <gasps> I'm getting the phoenix! I'm getting the phoenix! It's Hugo! I'm getting the phoenix! Yeah! Oh, that's so exciting! Oh, that makes me so happy! Okay. Okay. <sighs> Breathe for a second. Well, yeah. Put my battle leathers back on, or whatever we want to call this. Okay. Um. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless me. Oh, hello. Who are you? I beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Okay, so all my side quests are coming back in. They're all filtering back in. I think I had to, like, complete the main mission in order to unlock more side quests, which makes sense. Is everything alright? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not alright. Okay. It's my dear friend Hazel. <gasps> She's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. I already have a uni I already have two like unicorns. Possibly best. three by now. I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. 
Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can- Are you telling me to take your unicorn? How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Okay. Remember, you'll know her by her may need some convincing to come Bella, you need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. Okay. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Hin hingest? Hingest of Woodcroft. The statue is a huffle Hufflepuff Hingist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade, after having been driven from his home by muscle, m muscle muggle persecutors. I like Morgan Le Fay is always Yourself. described in like either like Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Thank you. I grew up, you know, hearing about like with well not hearing, but reading Magic Treehouse and she was, you know a good person, but then, you know, she's not always oh, I need to put new gloves on. She's not always shown as being a very good person. Like, one of my favorite movies, and I think it's totally underrated, is the, um, Sorcerer's on. Apprentice with Jay Baruchel, so the voice of Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon, and Nicolas Cage, and, um, Teresa Palmer. Um, like, Morgan Le Fay is not a good person in that one. Um. What else? She's not a good person. Like, <laughs> she was also in, like, Justice League Be sure to um, you Unlimited, around. like, the cartoon. And I grew up watching that. And... You know, wasn't wasn't the greatest character there either. Or her son, Mordred. That was my favorite episode ever, I think. Was when they were turned into kids. Totally random and off-topic, but... So I need to speak with Deke. Ravenia. Perry the platypus. I never fed him earlier. What? I don't know if I actually can. Oh, I can. Okay. I never fed Perry earlier. I could have sworn that I had. Unless it was the fact that I just brushed him when- Oh, I think it's because I just tapped on brush when I got in there. Never mind. Oh, excuse you. You know, if I didn't have this creature named Persephone, I'd probably name it Crookshanks, because it looks like a big version of Hermione's cat, Crookshanks. Deke, 
has some exciting news to share. Yes, Deke, all in good time, my love. All in good time. Hello. I am here to love you. Hi. <laughs> There's so many of them in here. <laughs> it's taking me longer and longer to get through my my rounds. Where'd Jabberwocky go? There he is. I love the zoomies. <laughs> I love the way the babies just get zoomies. Go. Maybe, maybe, maybe I named the baby zoomie. Zoomy. <laughs> Look, he's got him right now. Okay, who's not had treats yet? You're good. I think, oh, she up there is not good. <gasps> I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted. Every time. I do that on accident all the time. I'm sorry, come back. Come back, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're in Zoomy running around. This cracks me up. Here you go, Buckbeak. The music is so pretty. Have I gotten everybody? Did I feed you? That relic is the key to saving Earth. I know it. Meet me outside. Oh, I know it. No, Bubba. It's not, though. This is not... This is not gonna end well. It's not gonna end well. I swear, Sebastian Sallow, if you get me expelled after all that I've been working on, after all that I've been doing, because you will not listen to reason... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do, but I will not be happy. I don't think you're gonna actually get expelled in this game, but still. Also, I came in to take care of the, um, I have a foal around here somewhere. <gasps> Hello, little baby. Another boy. Why are my offspring always boys? <laughs> oh, well, Obsidian was a girl. Oh, still. Here you go. Did everybody get treats? I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the unicorns and the Thestrals love each other. <laughs> I don't think they're huge fans of each other. Here you go. No, but I came in, like, before I started recording and I had been, like, tending to the Thestrals and, um... I saw like the back of the toad and I was like, what is that? What is that? That, <gasps> it's just the toad. But like, I was freaked out. Like that, just like the way it looks when it like lays down on the ground. Like not a fan, I'm not a fan. Like, I don't know what that's called when, like, you don't like the way that like a wasp's nest looks or whatever, like the holes, like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Just talking about it makes me look what? I would love it if the unicorn, like, full, like, an obsidian were buddies. That would make me so ha Look at her! Or him. Look at him. What if I... Huh. I'm leaning towards naming, like, the parents, like, Ivory. 
Um, isn't it, isn't a topaz kind of goldish? There you go. Hi. I'm gonna name you Ivory. Oh, yeah, they all they do is like rear at each other. They uh, and then the Thestral runs away. So what am I gonna name Dad here? Their manes are so crazy on the the image. I need another like fancy name for white. I just thought of Pearl. I could name the mom Pearl. No, I feel like Ivory is more feminine. Um Diamond, and I feel like diamonds is also very <laughs> feminine. Um I'm Googling. Names that mean white. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, with all girl names. Looking for boy. How are any of these? meaning white um gosh dang it maybe I'll just go with like silver or something it's so uncreative but I don't know what else there you go I never brushed you! Was I in the middle of like brushing and I just didn't do everybody or I just missed the baby? I know that means they're sleeping but it does kind of freak me out when I just see them laying on their sides. Like a horse. Like horses can lay down but they don't lay down for very long periods of time and if they do that's when you know something's wrong. Like, that's kind of how I'm approaching this, too. I'm like, oh, don't stay laying down for too long because then you make me nervous. Okay. I think that is going to be it, though, for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. This, I honestly, I love, like, the tie. Like, I, well, I don't know if I should say I love the tie back to um, the Deathly Hallows. I don't I was kind of hoping like we wouldn't like kind of I guess come back to topics from like the Harry Potter series but then at the same time I didn't get to keep that I know of like the Elder Wand or the Sorcerer Stone or the Invisibility Cloak I don't think I actually kept any of those things so maybe it's like just kind of referencing um but that the design of that trial was awesome that was amazing. And, like, the Polyjuice potion was really fun. Like, she was so... She was loving it. That's, like, all I can say. Like, she was into it and, like, really playing it up. Um, I don't know, though. I am a little nervous that it's going to come back and bite me in the butt. That Black is going to somehow find out. But, I don't know. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.